Earth is all about creative freedom. You heard me. The freedom and full-blown ability to actually produce something original and quite compellingly awe-inspiring in general. And also in doing something so truly and unusually special, wonderful, and wholly amazing in the overall art quality, concept, and clever word tight originality that is best suited for widespread audiences on the whole indeed, as opposed to plain imitating which serves as nothing more than really a mere excuse to just churn out such me too, half-baked, been there than that artwork cliches that we have seen hundreds to thousands of times before already in the past. Believe me, I have ran my own original and ever-growing digital art group on DeviantArt called Digital Brilliance for more than a half a year now so far, and continuing even now. And I know plain and well enough to know all of this myself indeed. Even in the very creation of this entire digital artwork painting original that you are looking at right now, too. And that's just why I, Adgan Azikwe Pollock, specialize in creating something rather unusually damn fascinating. And most compellingly so, too in my own artworks on a regular basis in this very art community. You know that now? That is also a major part of the reason why I have created this very artwork right here that you are seeing. All because I felt, felt in my rather heart the total, total need to create something all original that has never, ever been done before. I strive for that! And yes, I do have that intense, inferno, blazing passion and hunger to create something rather innovative in artwork form like never before indeed, which is just clearly why I am greatly sharing this artwork and my passion within with you today. And I am so Utterly damn proud of it, especially considering that this very art piece to begin with was created originally using, now get this, this is really important, only a mouse and key strokes, absolutely no drawing tablet whatsoever, let alone a Wacom one. I repeat, without a drawing tablet, period. And believe it or not, this was also made exclusively in Jack's Paint Shop Pro 7 that I have had and absolutely loved the hell out of for almost a decade now. Not in Photoshop or Corel Painter or anything like that. Just Paint Shop Pro 7 indeed. And yes, it took rather about a single month on and off to create this whole painting of controlling the quicksands from start to finish as well. And not one single damn little apology from me whatsoever even in the mini school slightest too. Believe me, I know all this from my own personal three and a half plus years experience on DeviantArt in general, and also about what kinds of elements work and which ones do not. I've been there a many, many countless amount of times and then some, and I'm only human just like you, after all. Once again, it has to be innovation winning out over imitation, as I just personally cannot stress this enough here as to how vitally, vitally important this all is to your own artwork designs as well. Remember that from the bottom of your own heart now. And that is exactly, indeed, what this very artwork of controlling the quicksands does right here. So don't you even dare miss it, I gotta promise you. So all in all, you will surely not be disappointed with the results of this one. From the design, to the concept, to even a full-blown execution also. Speaking of which now, 
some of my own personal inspirations for this design came directly from the scene involving quicksand beneath the salt crust at broad sunlight from the 2004 theatrical motion picture entitled Hidalgo, which starred Viggo Mortensen and directed by Joe Johnston. Another inspiration came especially from studying about one a very rarely discovered quicksand area known as Um al Simen, meaning either Mother of Poisons or Mother of Worries in Arabic, which is found on the eastern edge of the Rub al Khali desert in Saudi Arabia as well as within the present-day Omani borders, and two, from another and even rarer area in Iran known as dasht e kavir or the Great Salt Desert, which is around a grandly whopping 500 miles long and 200 miles wide of thin salt crust covering over extremely vast, sticky softer, and such indescribably deep, black, salty mud marshes, or caviers, that act a rather lot like quicksand, no less. In addition to my own inspirations for this artwork digital painting original of controlling the quicksand, I had also thought of a special, world exclusive use of quicksand in this design that absolutely no one had ever, ever even seen before or coming at all. Which was, in quite fact, the very notion that the bottomless quicksands themselves from beneath the salt crust of the Sabka known as Zul out high here, had created indeed a special royal regalia for the sorceress Kalori herself, thereby selecting her as the newest and all reigning queen of El Zalorus. As I have clearly mentioned about near the beginning of my spoken commentary for this piece. See, it is such amazing inspirations and ideas like that that can help you go a long, long way in making your own artwork designs a success with a widespread audience in. Especially when done and executed right and so brilliantly as well, too. And again. So rather damn proud I am of creating this whole, whole art piece that literally blows the hell away all of the quicksand scene cliches to kingdom come. Yeah, you heard me, ladies and gentlemen. All. <laughs> yeah, having said that, one of my very, very damn best and wildly original artwork that I have ever, ever done on DeviantArt to Date so far, out of all of my own artworks featured there indeed alone, even surpassing Brea Woman Awakening, which is really no easy achievement, to say the mother freaking least. And before I leave the air on this truly special AAP official artwork spotlight of controlling the quicksand, I will most especially dedicate from the rather bottom of my own handsome heart this entire video to current DeviantArt Digital Art Gallery directors Atramina and Norte for such an incredibly, incredibly most phenomenal job that they are doing as especially as ever for our main DeviantArt community in general is complete entirety so far. And for their outstandingly well-picked daily deviation choices that have personally personally inspired me to go real big and make this original digital painting picture of mine as spectacular quality as ever in the design, concept, and execution. My big time congratulations to the both of them deeply in ways that I could not even begin to dare say myself. I mean, I'm at a definite, definite loss for words right now. <laughs> yes, I am. Also, I dedicate this video as well to such a fine, excellent person named Gwendolyn12 of this incredibly most outstanding art community, as well as to my great man on DeviantArt named Phoenix Leo, whose birthday, believe it or not, falls upon the exact same day as DeviantArt, which is August 
27th, coincidentally, I'm most happiest, happiest birthday to you and DeviantArt both, Phoenix Leo, my most splendid guy. I mean that from the absolute bottom of my heart as well. You hear me? <laughs> and to all of you watching, I just want to say a special thank you to you for joining me indeed. And be sure to pay such a wonderful visit to the official artworks of Adigan Azekoy Pollock on DeviantArt at adiganpollock.deviantart.com. Bye for now, my fans. Fantastically awesome, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you there soon. Peace! And this is Adigan Azikoi Pollock.